you already know what time it is. We had a baby calf on the ranch today, brand new born today. It is June 28th, 2021. What's in the shop today? Bye-bye. And it is Beach Brutus. It's a bundle too. You getting like a like a sand shovel too? All right, cool, cool. Beach Brutus. We're gonna go for some beach themed combos, obviously. Some color schemed combos, obviously. I'm making sure I don't miss anything. Um, to be true, I'm not even looking at all of it. I probably missed something brand new. We're getting that soon. Getting that soon. We have Beach Brutus for 1,300. We have the outfit. I don't know why he has different tats than he does from the Battle Pass Brutus, but regardless, what does this say? Oh, interesting. Um, so he's got some pretty cool tats, I would say. Pretty cool tats. Uh, the back bling is the scuba satchel. Now it does unequip visually from the back bling, the harvesting tool as well. The sandy shoveler. What does it sound like? It actually sounds like plastic. <laughs> Like some heavy-duty plastic. Very cool. He's got some bling as well. Bling around the neck. If you like these videos, you're support a creator. That's P-I-Z-0. Piece with a zero. You know we're getting it. Yes! Yeah. I'm using the assassin weapon wrap. I was going to go with an orange, obviously, but I thought it might be cool to go with the... I think they're canisters of uh, oxygen on his back bling. So the assassin goes with the black trunks, the black on the back bling, and then the silver from those air tanks. I would assume that's what they are. I would only assume. So that looks good. ADS is, I mean, it's Brutus. He's, he's a strong man, very strong man. So it's gonna be a little bulky here. Now the back fling does visually unequip, which is a very cool feature. I love getting these every now and then, not all the time, but every now and then, as long as it makes sense, if it's visually there, it should always visually unequip. No, it, it's good so far. I'm, I'm a little surprised. Um. Obviously not a fan of flip-flops, but it is a beach-themed skin here. I have not the flying saucer. That is a lie. I have the, um, I forgot what it was called, but I have this <laughs> for the glider. I'm such a bad reviewer. I have this one. I'm using this one. So visually unequips here. Check it out. Pretty average swing here. It's like an aggressive wind streak. I will say that very aggressive streak, like swing streak, even though there's no color. But I think it sounds really good. I think it sounds great. And since Irito is wearing him, a little bit more of a different POV of the Brutus here. Okay. It's all right. I like the harvesting tool. I really do like it. So we're obviously going to play with some orange combos here. Um, some camo combos. It might look pretty good as well if we can get like a dark gray camo. But yeah, I'll take off the back room real quick. I'm going to move on to combos. No back bling is actually really cool because you can see like his full tats. Like nothing's covering them. I think it looks great. It reminds me of something I would have done in like uh, Grand Theft Auto, like when you can put your tattoos on your character. That's what it reminds me of, but regardless, combo time. Okay, let's start with the back bling. Now, it is a little bulky when it's not on Brutus. It's a little wide with those, um, I would assume, our oxygen tanks here. We tried to do some theme. We tried to match some orange metallic as well. Vendetta with the orange here actually looks pretty cool. I mean, other than the sand shovel, it's pretty strong. On that vertex, I'm pretty expected here. Deathstroke Zero, again, it's almost like that sand shovel kind of takes away the aggressiveness of certain combos that I have picked out here. Reef Ranger, um, oxygen tanks kind of matches the theme there. Color-wise, not so much. Punk is the colors we're looking for. Star Lord, kind of a stretch with the orange. Kind of a stretch, but I like it with the headphones. We have the Molten Omen. Um, Theme-wise, I, I don't think he needs oxygen, but I'm just saying Astro Jack looks pretty cool with the color scheme. Just saying. Um, Blockade Runner, I don't see anyone running her, pun intended. We have the Dizzy Skin. She's black and orange, kind of easy there. Long Shot, theme-wise, not so much, but the colors are kind of nice. Devastator, really good here, as well as Dominator, really good. They have that metallic orange. That gray is nice because they have a lot of white on their pants already. And then the Sagan Sagan skin. Moving on to what you can wear on my man's here. We have the Fire Starter. 
the Arroyo pack. This is the last urban camo to go with. We're trying to go with the shorts here on that camo pattern. It was slightly off. Backup plan has that same gray camo. The red kind of throws it off a little bit, but it's close. The dark void has the orange we're looking for. The dying light, again, we have some orange here. Mystique skull goes very well with the skull on his chain. I know it's a small detail, but there is one there, so we'll keep that in mind. We have the loyal shield with the, I believe it's called dragon. I always think it's called heat or lava. I'm always wrong. Dragon edit style there. The galactic pack. I think you could use like something like this to bring out some more colors, like an aqua blue or a pink in the future. Um, the dynamo grab suit. This is the last edit style here. More of like a metallic gray and orange. It looks pretty cool with the color scheme. Brain freeze. I would go last two here for a nice theme with his um, orange shorts as well. The anemone is theme related. Juggis, shout out to Airto. I think he's creating a combo with the Juggis backling because um, Brutus is a bro and you know he's got a keg on the beach. I'm just saying. The number one backbling orange. Rescue ring, beach related. The squash bats has that orange metallic we're looking for. The striped stalker, not as vibrant on orange, but close. The trash lid with the cat edit style. It's okay. Maybe you could add like some purple on your wrap. You'd be good to go. We have the Kula to go with the theme here. The Trendsetter, we got some black, white, and orange. The Tana back bling, it's more of a darker copper orange, but it's very close. The Spectral Spine with the new edit style called Orange. Now, some back blings do not scale very well for this Brutus here, but these skeletal wings definitely scaled way up. Look at how big these things are on him. Holy! This is what it came with, and last but not least, the Rift Rock. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is supporter creator P-I-Z-Zero in the Atom Shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya!